Hello, I'm John Farrell's to a Topspin Tennis. In this video, I'm gonna show you six magic moves to Tommy Haas's one hand backhand. The video's packed with a ton of tips. Make sure you stick around to the end for a bonus tip on the contact point that may surprise you. Enjoy the video. Magic move number one is this transition and how to find the grip. The way I like to find the grip is I really square these strings up to the ball. So notice how those strings are showing to the ball. Notice his non-hitting hand, how it's not really tight on the racket. The top hand, the non-hitting hand, is really what squares these strings up to the ball. The bottom hand is actually going along for the ride. So that's magic move number one is just that grip change. I'll show you magic move number two, and that's just the setting of the left side. Notice how the racket head is high, showing to the camera. It's above his actual head here. I also like the fact that the edge of the racket is close to his head. It's in tight. I like to, I like to keep this as a compact position. Tommy has a double bent position with his arm. Sometimes this arm will straighten out a little bit, but he's in a double pent position. His chin is over his shoulders, nice and tight. So this is a signature position when we set this left side and take this racket back. 90% of his weight is on his back foot as well in this position. Keep that in mind because what he's going to do is transfer his weight from his back foot to his front foot and establish that momentum for more power. Let's look at magic move number three, and that's the racket drop. There's a reason why the pros take this racket back high. It's because from here, they're gonna utilize gravity and generate a little bit more momentum with that racket head. So by doing that, notice the racket drop and how the left hand is still on that racket. Momentum takes over. He, he gets some great momentum coming into the ball and it will drop below the ball. Keep in mind too, you want to set when you drop that racket, that racket should be behind your body. A lot of times if we don't get enough shoulder turn, notice how his chin is over his shoulders. But if you don't turn enough, you're not going to be coming from inside the ball enough. So make sure you initiate that good shoulder turn. See how we can see that butt cap, how it's showing to the camera. That's a signature position that you want to get into and you come from inside out. Magic move number four is when do you actually take the non-hitting hand off the racket? For the most part, it'll be right when the hands come by the left pocket. So notice how that left hand comes off. So both hands go along for the ride until we get right around this left pocket and that's when we release. So keep that in mind as far as when to release that non-hitting hand. All right, here's magic move number five, and it's gonna surprise you, but where do the pros make contact? A lot of times it's gonna be on the bottom third of the strings. And the reason why they do that is because they do not want this racket face to open up. So watch again, this was shot at 240 frames per second. See how the racket squares up here, and then you're gonna see it close slightly. Boom, right there, you can see it close. So by hitting with that bottom third, that guarantees that the racket face will not open up and the ball will not sail. So watch again, it's coming from low to high, vertical swing path here, and he hits and the strings will close slightly there. And that tells you that he's hitting with the bottom part of the strings. So if you wanna guarantee that ball does not go long, hit with those bottom third. Contact is out in front, beautiful straight arm position. All his weight is behind the ball. And here's the finish. Look at that finish, how he pulls up and across. The non-hitting arm will separate. So this is that bilateral movement. Notice how the hands come apart and he uses those shoulder blades. Those shoulder blades come together for power. Where's all his weight? It's on his front foot. Chin is still fixated on the contact point. 
If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button. Leave a comment. What else would you like to see? Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.